Are you running ads and just not seeing the conversions you want? Well, you're not alone. And most people think that it's an ads issue when running ads and not seeing results. But after working with over 1,000 plus online businesses, I found that the number one reason ads lack from being successful is because of their copywriting skills. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I've learned from spending millions of dollars on ads over the past seven years, and I'm going to give you the seven copywriting tips that will help you start getting qualified prospects in the pipeline every day. And make sure you stick until the end because I'm going to share one tip with you that has a 90% chance of just fixing everything for you so you can get rid of those Walmart shoppers, those tire kicker leads, and actually start getting qualified people in your ecosystem. But who knows, there's a couple other things I'm gonna share in here too that might be as simple as the first one to get it fixed for you. So before we dive in, let me just give you a quick background, a uh, 10 second overview. I've been in the client acquisition space for over seven years now, and I've done it all from door-to-door -door sales to cold DMing to email marketing to SMS text to webinars to DM funnels to courses to paid ads, basically you name it, a way to get qualified people to enter the ecosystem and have a conversation. I've done it all. And I'm just going to jump right into these lessons with you because I picked these up over the last seven years. And a lot of them I've actually learned from door to door sales that I've transitioned into the marketing side, which is 10 times easier. If you've ever done door to door sales, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So the first thing you need to understand is clarity is power. This is crucial. The number one rule in copywriting is clarity is power. You need to be crystal clear about what you're offering and what action you want your reader to take. Don't try to sound too smart or too sophisticated. Just try to be understood. Here's an example of what not to do. Revolutionize your business with our cutting edge solution. What does that even mean? It means, oh, well, here's a whole new thing that you can do for our cutting edge solution. There's no clarity in that, right? Instead, try something like this. Ecom coaches, double your sales in 30 days with our proven marketing system. This is very specific on who you're talking to, and you're giving them a very specific outcome with a specific scenario where it's, hey, revolutionize your business with this cutting edge solution. Believe it or not, a lot of people come into marketing and try speaking like this, and it just doesn't make any sense. So you have to have clarity on who you're targeting, what you're saying, what you're selling, what the result they're getting and how they're getting that result, you need clarity. And this goes for inside the ads, this goes inside the setting, this goes inside sales, clarity is power. The next is speak to your audience simply. Here's a little trick I use. Imagine that you're explaining your offer to a fifth grader. Now, I'm not saying dumb it down completely and strip away everything that just doesn't make any sense. I'm saying just simplify it. A bad example is our proprietary algorithmic system solutionizes your digital marketing efforts for maximum ROI. That's a tongue fool. Believe it or not, I've had actually a lot of clients come through and they try saying something like this. Simplify it. Speak to a fifth grader. Good example. Our software helps you get more customers from your online ads. Which one would you rather read? Exactly. It's a lot more simple. So here's an exercise that you can do. There is an app. It's called or a software. It's called Hemingway App. You can paste in your copy and then aim to be a four on the grade scale for readability. So you click on here and you can see, we'll just paste this in here and I'll just give you an example, right? So let's just say we want to do this. You paste it in there and it says postgraduate, right? That's way too advanced for what we're looking for. We're looking for like a four. So let's paste this in here and see what it says. That's a grade six. So you could even dumb it down a little bit maybe something like this simple software helps you get more clients see how like just it, you can play around with it and see where the score like where the score is get more clients so yeah that's a two more clients with paid ads with this simple three-step funnel so you can play around with it and kind of get where you're at. I would say aim for a, like a three to five. A four is really good. But as soon as you get like postgraduate and shit like that, it just becomes way too advanced and you need to simplify it. So 
I did it um, over here. It's basically you want to aim for a four. Keep it simple. Now, the next one is to study newspaper and magazine headlines. If you want to know a secret, newspaper magazine headlines are gold mines for copywriters. They're masters at grabbing attention quickly. They're concise, punchy, and informative on getting people to take the next step. I'll pull up a couple examples over here. Here's a, if you literally just go on Google and just type in magazine headline breakup or anything to do with drama, you'll see a bunch pops up. So like, for example, this one right here. Uh, if you're a Jennifer Aniston fan, right? Jen's heartbreak dumped. See how it's like, it's big, bold. It gets you, like anyone that's interested in her, it's gonna catch attention. And then it goes, Justin storms out after ugly screaming match. The shocking reason he quit intensive couples therapy. Courtney rushes to Jen's side. Don't torture yourself. See how like they're just key points that gets the reader to take the next step. And that's really what you want to remember when it comes to copywriting is you want to get them to take the next step and you want to simplify it and just give them just a little bit to take the next step. Even this right here, Bruce's sex change surgery. Like they're just catching attention. That's what you want to really think about when you're doing this. The fight to end all fights. What really happened? Brittany, pregnant. See how like they're just very concise and straight to the point. Next time you're at the grocery store, I challenge you to look around the magazines and newspapers. I don't even think they have newspapers at grocery stores anymore, but there's always magazines before you uh, check out and just start reading those consistently. I've actually gotten a lot of really good ad ideas from that. For example, local business owner triples income using this new software. You could try all kinds of different things like coach triples, client base with proven systems. The whole point is you just want to grab attention right away. And it's just you want to grab attention and leave a little bit of a hook so it keeps the end user guessing. Next is, and this is my personal favorite, is create intellectual property, other known as IP and new opportunities. So what exactly do I mean about this? Well, if you're going to market like everybody else, you're gonna get the same results as everybody else. And let's be honest, that's not why you're here. So I wanna break this down for you. Say you are in the weight loss space and everyone else is out there basically marketing saying, hey, do this and I'll help you lose weight or do this and I'll get you a six pack. It's boring, everybody does it. You want to be good, unique and different. It's gotta be something where it's like, bam, here's a new approach you've never heard before. Here's a good example. Remember when intermittent fasting hit the scene? Suddenly it wasn't all about just working out all the time and working out harder or following strict diets. It was a new opportunity that was simple in the fitness world. And that's the big thing with copywriting, especially in ads. You want to present a new opportunity for people when you're speaking to them. New opportunities just do really well nowadays and it's what's creating intellectual property. So think about it, like intermittent fasting, when people were just coming out or the keto diet, right? Before everybody was doing that, they were just doing all these other diets. And then once those came out, it was a new opportunity. And the IP was intermittent fasting, keto diet, whatever it might be. But that's what you need to really think about in this space is how do you separate yourself apart from everybody else? So let's take the coaching space or the get client space for an example. Everyone's saying, we'll help you get more clients, okay. Well, everybody's heard that a million times. And how exactly are you gonna do that? With what system? What's the unique approach? These are questions you need to answer in your copy to make it stand out. So when you're writing your ad copy, ask yourself, what's my unique angle? What's the new opportunity I'm presenting? And how is my approach different from everybody else? If you can't answer these, you shouldn't be running an ad because if you just try to do what everybody else does, you're never going to get results. Because the more unique your voice is, the more you're gonna be bold and the more different you're gonna be and that's gonna pop and actually grab attention and convert traffic better. So the next one is the cocktail party approach. I teach all this to my clients, but this is one I have to remind my clients consistently is, you need to think about it as if you are at a cocktail party. And I'll explain this here in a second, but basically what it comes down to is creating good copy. You wanna speak directly to your ideal audience, right? The best way to speak to your ideal audience is imagine that you're at a network party, a cocktail party, and you're just sitting there. Think about it like this. You're sitting there, you got a drink in the hand, and you start, you start talking to someone, right? How would you explain your services to them face to face? That's exactly how you wanna explain your copy. A lot of times what people do is they overcomplicate this. They start rambling, throwing in a bunch of sophisticated words to make themselves sound a lot smarter. And it just, 
it doesn't make sense. Keep it simple. That's the secret. Just keep it simple. One of the values inside my company is simple scales, complex fails. You need to keep your copy stupid simple. So think about it next time you're at a party. The whole intention of a conversation is you're not trying to bore somebody. You're trying to explain what you do in a way that's like a friendly manner, right? Like if I'm sitting here and, you know, maybe I have a bourbon on the rocks and I you, you come up and you sit down next to me. I'd be like, hey, dude, so what do you do? Oh, blah, blah, blah. What do you do? Yeah, man, I, you know, I help, uh, I help coaches online get more clients through this new Instagram funnel I created. Right. I'm not going to be like through this new sophisticated proprietary funnel that only coaches that do this, this, this get. It's like keep it simple. A lot of issues I see is people just overanalyzing everything. They overanalyze their entire features and they try to over explain it because they just try to sound more sophisticated than it needs to be. And if it is really sophisticated, dumb it down, simplify it. A lot of people just talk, 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 talk. And that's not what you want to do. The whole point of an ad copywriting is to spark interest, get them to sell the next step. A lot of times what I see people do is they try to sell their entire product through a 30 second ad. Remember an ad is to sell the next step for us. Usually the next step is either a click to start a conversation, a click to a landing page or a click for information, right? You're not selling your entire product. That's what the next step is for. Right, So you gotta remember, you're not selling everything through an ad, you're just selling the next step. So you want it to be short and straight to the point. Most of the time, if you truly know how to speak to your ideal audience, this part should just flow naturally. Here's a quick example. Uh, instead of saying our proprietary algorithmic solution leverages cutting edge machine learning technology to optimize your digital marketing efforts for maximum return on investment across multiple platforms, try this. Hey, we've got this new software that generates a 4X ROAS on ad spend. Want to hear more about it? See the difference? The second one just sounds like something you'd actually say to someone at a party. It's simple, clear, and it's intriguing. Remember, your audience is bombarded with messages all day. They don't have time for complicated words and run-on sentences of just shit that doesn't make sense. They want to know how you can help them, and they want to know fast. So next time you're writing copy, imagine you're at a cocktail party, networking party, and just be friendly, be clear, and most importantly, just be yourself. Speak to your ideal audience as if you were just chilling with them, right? That's the best way to connect with your audience. Number six is to isolate the variable in your copy. So here's where we get a little bit technical. Uh, when you're creating copy, break your copy into sections. Attention, that's your hook. Body, that's your explanation. And call to action is your CTA. So I call this the ABC copy. Attention, A, B, body, C, call to action. Then you're basically just gonna test it. So first, like hook one, tired of wasting money on ads that don't convert? That's your hook, right? Your attention is your hook. Tired of wasting money on ads that don't convert? Or hook two, what if you could double your ad, ad ROI overnight? Exactly what I did right here at the very beginning. Are you running ads but just not seeing the conversions you want? Well, you're not alone. Blah, blah, blah. Like that was my hook. I could come through here if this was an ad and just come up with a couple different versions to test out as well. So you've got to make sure you have a hook. And a lot of times you can do this in every day, everything you do throughout life. Um, so test these separately um, and you can see what performs the best. A lot of times people just try one type of ad and they don't try enough things. You need to make sure you have a hook inside your ad and what you're talking about because if you can't hook somebody they're not going to listen to the rest it doesn't matter how great your body your explanation is or your how great your call to action is if you can't get their attention with a good hook you might as well not even try the next step right so put a lot of attention and effort into the hook and then get the rest of it done next lastly keep it simple this is the one thing that i promise you if you just implement this will change 90 percent of what you're doing and it's just simplify it. People have a problem with overcomplicating everything in life. Like I mentioned earlier in this call or in this video, one of the values inside my company is simple scales, complex fails. And we created that as a value because every time we try to get more complex with stuff, it always breaks or it doesn't work. And it's always the most simple stuff that always works. So simple copy almost always outperforms complex copy from my experience. Don't try to cover everything in one ad, focus on one big idea and one benefit for your particular prospect or whoever's seen it. 
instead of leverage our proprietary methodologies to optimize your business operations and maximize profitability, people actually do speak like this, by the way. I've had a decent amount of clients that are very intelligent, and I found usually the more intelligent someone is, the more they try to over explain what they do. Try leverage this new software that will make you 15% more efficient over the next seven days. Which one would you rather read? Which one would you understand within a split second? Because again, the whole thing is we need to say it and then your prospect be able to digest that information like that. Thanks to ADD TikTok, it takes longer to process information nowadays. And if it's not something that's processed right away, they move on. So remember, your ad has to compete with the world that we live in now where, like I said, it's the ADD TikTok era where you got cat videos, vacation photos, you got fat people dancing with their shirt offs for some reason that's entertaining nowadays. Go figure. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. The whole point is you're competing with a lot. You got to make it easy for people to get your message. The last thing I would say to remember is with copy, practice makes perfect. I remember when I first started learning about like copywriting, it was probably five or six years ago. And it was one of those things. It's a journey. I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly studying. But that's really what's going to make you good. If you look at anyone that's doing seven, eight figures and above, they're all really good at copywriting. Whether they know it or not, they have that skill down when their everyday life and how they market, they're really good at copywriting. I think the most important thing you can do is literally just start writing every day. If you want to know what I do, I start each morning by writing an email to my list. It gets my kind of creative juices flowing and keeps my skills sharp. Or I'll go on Instagram and post a story that is not me rambling, but very incentivizing to my prospects to get them to convert or take an action step. Uh, here's a little tip that you can do. Study the Facebook ad library. If you don't know much about this yet, you can go to Facebook ad library and you can go on here and just find people that are running ads and just model off of them, right? And just study them. That's what, that's how I've learned a lot. Find successful ads in your niche and practice rewriting them in your own voice. It's like copywriting on steroids. It's, it's literally a cheat sheet to being able to get good at copy is just finding people that are already good and just studying and modeling off of them. So there you have it. Seven years of copyrighted wisdom. Uh, try to condense it in 10 minutes. This might be a little bit longer than that. But if you start applying these principles today, I promise you'll start seeing your conversion rates go up. And hey, if you want more actionable advice on scaling your business, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's grow. Um, last thing I will say, if you are somebody that is a coach or a consultant and you want to go a little bit faster, I always give the option where there's a link to book a call or get a little bit more information of what it looks like to work with me and my team. Or if you're just trying to get the free information, hey, that's perfectly fine. That's what this YouTube channel is for. Uh, go feel free to check out the next video and I'll see you in the next one.